Peacock 45 here. Look at this thing. One of the big criticisms of the high point pistols, and you saw one here recently, right? Is that they're big, heavy. Well, this is another high point. It is big, fairly heavy. But you know, with a carbine, it really doesn't matter that much. This is not going to be a concealed carry firearm. So let's see if it'll shoot, okay? Let's put a round in the chamber and put some ears on our ears. And we're shooting 124 grain. Federal full metal jacket, American Eagle. Uh, I'm not sure I can hit anything with it, tell you the truth. But uh, let's go on over there. Try the red plate. Ah, well, let's try a pig. Come on, fall. <laughs> Nice, nice. Let's shoot the gong. Gong with the last round. I have another mag. Let's just go ahead and wake up the gong. Uh, with maybe a whole mag. All right, it's gong worthy. I'm gonna try that ram. I'm gonna see if I can put one on his head. Oh well, we're into. It. We'll try it again later, <laughs> or at least put a high round on him. Yes, we have the high point carbine, the 995, and this specifically, I think, is the uh, what is the TS model where they change the stock a little bit, and it's got a uh, lock back on the last round. It holds open on its own, which the other one did not do apparently the earlier models and uh, I'm, I'm new to it of course this uh, the first one I've ever fired uh, let me think yeah yeah the first one I fired and have had it as long as we uh, have had the uh, handgun you saw in the earlier video uh, and in fact I was going to do the video first then we changed our mind because I've been shooting this uh, a fair amount as well because uh, I have heard that these are pretty nice uh, carbines okay not a lot of negatives about the, the carbine high points and uh, I have to say that's my uh, experience I'll load while I'm talking I have uh, I have yet to have a malfunction with it all right now I don't know how long that would last it is a high point it's a uh, you know the heavy bolt blowback function like the handguns and uh, you know one of the criticisms you'll see is that they tend to work really pretty well uh, but wouldn't want to rely on one, you know, going to battle or anything. Uh, that they still are made out of some of the same inexpensive materials. And so I don't know how many rounds you'd get out of one of these before you did have trouble. You know, because the firing pin, again, is uh, the ejector. And I have seen reports of people claiming that uh, uh, the firing pins will bend on you eventually and some things like that, maybe. Don't know. With extended use. Hopefully it's extended use, right? So these things, apparently, you see a lot of people who, who uh, do not turn their noses up at these, okay? Uh, for one thing, a big old blocky, you know, handgun is a big old blocky handgun. Heavy and awkward, can't find a holster, you know, <laughs> well, or a holster you want, or to be able to carry it the way you'd like to because it's that thick and it's heavy. Uh, a carbine, you know, just by the nature of it, you know, it's, it's a bigger uh, firearm, of course. And a lot of people call this kind of blocky and really extra big. I, I don't really know that it is. Uh, I will have to say, as, as really ugly as I find the handguns, and it, totally unattractive, and somewhat undesirable in a lot of ways, uh, I don't find this uh, that. I, I'm not repulsed really at all by this. It's not the prettiest handgun. handgun. It's not the prettiest rifle or carbine I've ever seen. But... I don't know, I was thinking of the CX-4 Storm uh, that we had for a while. Did a couple of videos on it. Uh, big old polymer, uh, uh, pistol caliber carbine. And it was very reliable, I liked it. I almost bought that from Beretta. I liked that thing, it was hard to send it back, but I had trouble getting my face down on the stock uh, to get the sights line some a little bit. Uh, red dot would have taken care of that, I guess, but I liked that rifle. Uh, 
this doesn't really seem any more awkward to me or unpleasant because of the polymer. In fact, the sights are up there where I can, I can see them just fine. They're up a little higher, so I don't have that problem with this thing. And I wouldn't, I know here I am comparing it with, uh, what was that, Beretta. Uh, I'd say that firearm is a lot more quality, okay? So, <laughs> but as far as just the feel and everything of this firearm, it, it probably actually feels better in terms of shouldering it and shooting it. I think I've got the sights uh, uh, right on. They, they just had a couple of problems, uh, elevation and windage, but I got that worked out, and uh, I think they're right on. Let me take a couple more shots. All right, let's try something a little closer here. Nine millimeter. Got this from Buds, of course. It's uh, uh, It'll end up on uh, the E-Gunner auctions. We appreciate their support, so you can watch for it there. Check the description, as always. All the good information is in the description about Buds Gun Shop, Federal uh, uh, Premium, and whether or not we're doing a meet and greet lately or upcoming. <laughs> Well, you know what? There's my first malfunction. Yep, lock the bolt back. You push in on it. Ah, there we go. And release it like a like a handgun. All right, a couple of rounds left. And uh, she sure hung up. That is the first time. I don't, know about, I don't like the looks of that. That magazine. I guess it's all right. Okay. Let's try that one. Okay. Back to what we were doing. Oh, let's smoke some pot. <laughs> Holy. I put one on this target. This two liter. All right. So I just have two magazines and I, I bought one of those. It ships with uh, one magazine. So, you know, you have that to deal with. Then what I'll do, I'll put both these in the box, though, okay? Let me put a little scratch on that one. I'm going to put a little, uh, just put an X. Not that it's a bad magazine. It could have been, uh, obviously, something else. But that'll let me know if we have another malfunction. And it's uh, with this magazine. Or every time we use this magazine. Maybe it's not quite as good as the other. I don't know. They're both new mags. That is one of the weaknesses of high points. You'll see... Uh, you know, and I discovered that with the other one. I had a bunch of magazines. There were there was one that wouldn't work at all. And uh, I think uh, sometimes the problems with these are related to the magazine. These are ten rounders. Uh, they will work generally. I found them to work okay in the handgun. But uh, the reason, and that's one of the criticisms of this thing, is that it's just a ten round carbine. And I think there's some aftermarket magazine manufacturers who make a whatever 12 round 14 round mags or something and uh, the word on those is they're not very good either they'll know you may have a different opinion or experience but uh, maybe I should be counting those maybe I got an extra round that's really punching that down that's I think it's supposed to hold another round but uh, this gun was developed during the the uh, assault rifle ban the crime bill 94 to 2004 uh, that crazy uh, legislation where you couldn't buy a lot of the cool stuff and and so they just designed it around the 10 round magazine grip and all that instead of a double stack I guess if, uh, if it were being designed today maybe they would uh, make it a double stack and uh, there are probably lots of 20 and 30 round mags for it don't know all right let's try it Cool, cool little rifle, and in a lot of ways, I'll have to say, I'm partial to pistol caliber carbines if they work. And uh, you saw the first malfunction with this thing. Let's put a couple more on the two liter there. Mm. Hit the pumpkin. <laughs> they start practicing my faces, don't I? Uh, since we're shooting a rifle, uh, same, you know, pistol ammo. Let's try the uh, tree there. Yeah, gets a little bit harder. A little bit harder than out of a handgun. 
Let's go back over there. I'm a little frustrated with that goat. I want to knock him off. I might have to hit the top of the horn to do it. There we go. I think I got him on the face or in that vicinity a couple of times. Let's try the little uh, swinger over there. There we go. Let's try the chicken. Okay, we're out of ammo. Let's do some loading, don't I? All right. Uh, I have been impressed with uh, how it shoots. I've been able to, since I got the sights on, uh, I haven't yet here been too impressive, but I was uh, popping that little swinging plate like two or three times in a row. The sights are right on. And so it's me if I'm missing. It's my trigger control. I need to tighten up the bolt there a little bit. And the bolt handle, uh, it just screws out. So, uh, so I don't know, uh, many of you probably have, have these because a, a lot of people own these who would not buy the handguns. So there's not uh, a lot of mystery about these. They've been around a good while and they're, uh, you know, since what, 2000, I don't know. They've been around a good while and, uh, and they're, uh, well, actually you're 94, like I said, I guess that's when the development took place during the crime bill, I guess, or maybe it was a little bit after that. But, uh, uh, they tend to work okay, and uh, they're they're not all that objectionable to, to most people, even folks who really do turn their noses up at, at a high point. Because uh, you got to love a pistol caliber carbine; they're just fun, and uh, they're a great range gun. They're a lot of fun, and a lot of people actually use them for self-defense. Again, reliability is extremely important. You want to make sure your magazines are working everything i was i was uh looking around on the web i found a, a video of a lady in detroit i don't know how long ago it happened but she warded off three home invaders with one of these and uh it was interesting because uh, because of uh, security cameras they got uh, a lot of it from the outside on camera and then there was a little interview with her and everything so so it is a firearm and it is a uh, it, it, it seems to be fairly reliable these do all right my experience was 100 percent until today Let's just cut that malfunction out, John, okay? <laughs> eh, we don't do that. You know. All right. Now that chicken is going down. I love hunting. Hunting is fun with a pistol caliber carbine or lever gun, any kind. Yep. Okay, I figured out where to hold. They just need to hold a little bit lower. <laughs> oh, killed them all, almost. Let's go to the red plate on the left. Oh, there's some cinder block. Yep, there was and still is. <laughs> it's the only problem with having two mags. Boy, this thing needs uh, needs a good 20 round mag in the worst way, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, let me just show you. I'm not going to take it totally apart. It will take a couple of minutes though, and I'll show you basically because uh, I hate to take things that are really, really difficult to, to, to come apart apart when we're uh, you know in the middle of a, a video. And but I don't know. Sometimes we'll, we'll mess with it. Uh, so the uh, baby is unloaded, of course. Sure, that no magazine, and uh, you just push these little clips back. Uh, trying to scratch this firearm up that somebody will own that's watching. Push forward on that pin so I don't have to put so much pressure. There we go. This one over here was a little, I've had it apart a couple of three times, 
I don't want to scratch the gun if I do. Sorry. It's a, <laughs> it just goes with the territory. So that's the pins. You see what I'm doing? These pins. That frees up the pins. Okay. Then what do you do? I think, you know, I think the next step is you take out the charging handle, bolt handle, and screws. Okay. Then uh, I believe the next step was this. That's why I have the hammer and chisel and all those out here. This little clip here, see it comes off. It's holding it together. Just knock it forward. Little clip holds that. Okay. Then I believe this was the next step. Pick that up. And then this slides forward, I think. I'm on the right track here. Down all the way back. See, I haven't forgotten anything. No. Okay. Yeah. That slides off. Oh! Did that barrel get hot? And that slides off. Okay. Then all that comes right out. I didn't forget anything, did it? No. So, there you go. Now I think you take that out. I even take it out further than that. Uh, probably will. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, that's kind of how you you get them down to that point, kind of a field strip, and uh, let's put them back together. There we go. Yeah, you put that on, put this on. That slips under there. It's got that little lip. Needs to go back far enough, of course. There we go. And then this goes on. Slides up in there. All the way now. Come on. There we go. Flip that back down. Okay, and we put this clip back on. Hold that. I tend. To, it's always good to use brass on things. You tend not to scratch things up. You may scratch the bluing off, but you're not going to do damage as much to the metal. Brass is soft, by and large. Okay, and we put the bolt handle in. This is a blowback action, like I said, and uh, and it, it seems to be you know a decent firearm. I'll have to say, it. Uh, I don't know how long it would last you if you were firing lots of rounds. That's the only thing that would uh, I would be concerned about, maybe, or if you were relying on it, you're going to war or something with it. Uh, but uh, most important thing is reliability. There we go. This one's a booger. Let me stab my hand here. All right. Okay. Coming back. So we'll shoot him a couple more times. See if he lies. I haven't told you about it. I've got. Uh, I've shot uh, 115 grain. Again, we appreciate our sponsorship from Federal. This is uh, 115 grain ammo. It's done just fine with that. And we'll maybe load a little bit. Okay. Been, this is 24 in this box and the bulk box there oh i know what i almost forgot y'all let me forget i had some hollow points here some federal hydro shock okay let's see if it'll feed a holler point and uh I don't, and there's lots of different variate well there's different variations of it and maybe not that many but just in in what's on it what's hanging on it you can get lights and different rails uh, forward grip of course i think some of them obviously you got your rail you can put that on there but i think uh, i've seen different models when i ordered this from buds they have some with lights and uh, forward handles and you know just everything and of course they come in uh, 380 40 45 you know as well as nine millimeter i'll just shoot one mag of those and i'll put some 115s in here and they sell for a while around 250 260, 275, depending on the configuration. So for under $300, uh, probably under $300, you have a pistol caliber carbine. And one that most people think is okay. All right? You don't get as many people laughing about these carbines, uh, they, they, uh, in, including me. 
I, I have to say, it took me a while to get used to the, the look, uh, but as I've learned more and more, that a lot of people have these and they, they work fine for them. You know, it, that, that's okay. You know what this thing, uh, I saw a posting, uh, someone mentioned uh, Planet of the Apes, the first movie, and I thought, oh man, that's right. I think they actually thought this was used in the first movie, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> that was a long time ago, I was in high school. Uh, and this wasn't around, but I think they took M1 carbines and made them look kind of like this. If you've ever seen the original Planet of the Apes, which is a great movie, it's one of my top five probably in my life. I love that movie. But I remember the the, the eight people or whatever, they had guys that looked a lot like this. I don't know if that's a compliment to them for, for the high point or not. Let's go ahead and try the, the hollow points. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I thought while we were doing the high points, we ought to do the, uh, both the carbine and the uh, oops, spider and the pistol. All right. We have it. Oh, we got a couple of pots that need smoke in there. Cowboy. Another cowboy. That one of those hung up. Okay, let's pull the bolt back. Lock it in place. You push in on the handle. We got a double feed there. Try those again. Another malfunction. Okay, I wouldn't recommend it with hollow points. At least with that mag, that's the uh, that's the X mag. <laughs> Maybe we'll transfer those to the other mag here. We'll shoot this one. This is 115 grain uh, American Eagle. Okay. What was I shooting at before I was so rudely interrupted? There's a water bottle. All right. Try the red plate with uh, these. Pretty nice. Oh, cinder block. Try the little red plate. All right. How about? Ah, oh, this pumpkin needs a couple more hits. <laughs> I don't have enough ammo to machine gun him. I'm sorry. So, uh, so anyway, I'll put a couple of these in uh, this mag, see if we see any difference, but uh, probably won't. Uh, if you're going to shoot hollow points in a handgun or a rifle, uh, particularly if it's a low-priced firearm, uh, you definitely want to experiment because all hollow points are not created equal. Some of the best hollow points have a pretty big mouth on them, and uh, if your firearm will fire them, that's fine you might have to compromise and find some that are not opened up quite as much or just don't shoot hollow points I don't know how many people are going to have this as their home defense rifle or you know to tell you the truth but you never know okay cowboy let's see if a hollow point will go through you okay maybe it's that magazine maybe it's that mag okay one more mag now, one with, oh, I forgot, we got another 30 minutes in this video because we're going to compare it with the Uzi, okay? Because they're both pistol caliber carbines. No, we're not going to do that. Just kidding. We had that out for another video. <laughs> one more mag. Uh, I'm going to try that 115. I kind of like that 115 with this. It uh, has a good feel. I don't know. So, uh, what have we learned? I don't know. It's not 100% reliable like I thought it was. Now, I have not taken the bolt apart and just cleaned it, which I normally do. That's one of the things that has kept me from doing high points. It's not that I was, uh, you know, a, a real gun snob. I don't want to ever, you know, do a video on a, on a high point. I told you in the other video, I had one. I've had one for a couple of years or more. And every time I start thinking about doing a video with it, I bring it out. I've done that several times. I brought it out to the shed, messed with it. Let me figure this thing out. How do you take it apart? Oh man, I gotta take that roll pin out that you can take that off. And, uh, okay, I don't, I don't know. I'll learn more about that later. And I take it back in the house, and that happened a couple of times. And I shoot it a few times, and it worked okay. But I, I, I just need to know more about this gun before I do the video. I can't get excited about it. I don't really like it anyway. And you can't even take it apart to clean it, you know, without doing that, you know. So that's I just had a bad attitude. I'm sorry. 
and and you can see I was not all the way down on this one there's more to you know get the bolt out and that's just to clean it and I'm spoiled by firearms that you just there's the bolt in your hand clean it and then put it back in shoot some more uh, I'm really spoiled by that uh, by the great designs of so many firearms and uh, so I don't know if that's it or not I have not cleaned the bolt and uh, fire, I fired several hundred rounds through it and I don't know how uh, picky they are about you know being dirty if that's part of it or not or I don't know it's just the one magazine I guess that we've had any problems with right so let's try this magazine why don't we just wrap up with some uh, ah, rapid fire on this pumpkin I'm gonna fire 25 rounds into him as fast as I can <laughs> I, I thought I'd stop at 10 you know just because we didn't really have time so now that's that's the answer I would highly uh, recommend and you can tell that uh, can't you you can uh, uh, figure that one out from the, the video in life if you shot many semi-automatics that you do want to uh, number your magazines is always good uh, ahead of time really and then you know, isolate the ones that are not working right and what we sort of did here in the video it looks like uh, even hollow points work in that magazine uh, and I don't recall which one of those came with the gun. Actually, I put them both in the in the box, but uh, uh, but they they were exactly alike. They're both high point magazines. It's not an aftermarket. So once you get the magazines that are going to work, or get rid of the ones that don't, uh, it looks like these are, are pretty reliable the little little carbines. And they are a bit ugly, but I don't know. I, to me, a lot of the little carbines are ugly. Like I say, the CX4 Storm is not exactly a pretty gun. Uh, and it's it's not that easy to find a pistol caliber carbine that's 100 percent reliable the cx4 storm seems 100 percent reliable the lone wolf g4 whatever they call it it's kind of like an ar you've seen the video i hope that we did uh nine millimeter carbine I've never had a malfunction with that i think i'm pretty sure i've not had any problems with it uh but there have been some others that you know have had a malfunction occasionally with them so the high point is not alone, you know, in having an occasional malfunction. Their magazines, I think, are their biggest problem. But anyway, the high point carbine, the 995, uh, yeah, I, I can see why so many people like them and uh, prefer them over the handguns because they, they work better. Shoots well. I feel like I can hit anything with it, really. Feels pretty good. Life is good. We'd like to thank one of our sponsors, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI has fully accredited distance learning programs where you can get certified in gunsmithing or even an associate's degree in firearms technology. Of course, the study includes hands-on experience, which is important, of course. So check it out. Uh, go to sdi.edu or just click on the link in the description. Okay? And also, we'd like to remind you to check out the Hickok 45 Facebook page and the Hickok 45 and Sun channel and its Facebook page, as well as Gun Culture Radio on iTunes. Now remember all this, because I'm coming to your house randomly over the next year or two to give you a quiz on it, okay? Thank you.